Hey everyone, it's Maka from Inside Gaming with Seagate, taking a quick look at how to get up and running with the Fire Cuda 510 M.2 NVMe solid state drive. We'll also take a quick peek at some Seagate software tools, which will help you migrate from an old drive as well as perform maintenance on your new SSD. Let's get inside. Now, this video isn't meant to replace the installation guides and manuals that come with your SSD and the Seagate software tools. Links to those are included in the description of this video and you should read through everything carefully. But for a quick overview of the installation process, keep watching and grab a screwdriver. When handling the SSD, make sure you ground yourself first and don't remove the drive from its casing until you're ready to install it. If you can get a D-static bracelet like this one, even better, static can actually damage your drive. We're going to already assume you've confirmed that your motherboard can take an M.2 PCIe NVMe drive, which is something you won't be able to tell just by looking at the interface slot. And make sure your SSD is compatible with the socket slot. A drive like Seagate's Fire CUDA 510 is M keyed and is only compatible with M.2 connections that can accept an M keyed card. Connect the pins at a 30 degree angle and press the end down so that it's flush with the screw mount and then use the screw to fasten it in. If you're installing the drive for a brand new build, you'll need to access the BIOS setup in your machine and ensure that a PCIe device is set in the boot sequence. Once this is done, restart with your Windows OS media ready to be installed and your machine should start the operating system installation process. Follow the prompts and you'll soon be asked to designate your install drive. If you've got more than one drive and you're unsure which is which, just find the capacity size that matches your installed SSD. Select the drive and finish the install. If this isn't a new PC build and you're adding a drive, either to expand or replace your storage, you'll need to format the drive in the disk management utility, which can be accessed with the right click of the Windows Start button. Your new drive will show up as unallocated space. Right click and choose new simple volume, and then proceed through the formatting prompts, choosing your drive labels and settings. If your plan is to replace your old drive with your new SSD, you can migrate all your data with Seagate's Disk Wizard software, which comes with every drive and is also available for free on Seagate's website. Install Disk Wizard and use the clone disk utility to back up all of your files, programs, and operating system, and then recover and install it on your new SSD with a few easy clicks. The clone disk operation effectively copies the contents of one drive to another, without the need for reinstallations or reconfigurations. In Disk Wizard's home screen, click Tools and then Clone Disk. In most cases, the automatic mode will be appropriate. Click that. Select your old hard drive as the source disk and then click Next. Then select your new hard drive as the destination disk and click Next. Confirm that all partitions can be erased and click OK. If everything looks good, click proceed and Disk Wizard will start the process. Again, see the Disk Wizard documentation for complete and detailed instructions. Finally, we recommend you download and install Seagate's C-Tools application, which lets you monitor the health of your new SSD and allows for regular maintenance of the drive to maximize its lifespan. You can find a link to C-Tools on Seagate's website. Thanks for watching.